Hey guys, welcome to another video. I know it's been a little while, but um, from now on, I'm going to make videos that are a bit shorter and uh, just recapping on various topics that I think might be helpful for you guys. So in this video, I'm going to go through uh, five, the five kingdoms and the idea of classifying organisms. So we'll go through the ideas of taxonomy, five kingdoms, uh, differences between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and the key features of the five kingdoms. So just in a nutshell, taxonomy is the branch of science that's concerned with classifying organisms. The way we do that is using a taxonomic hierarchy, going from the most uh, broad, which is the domain, all the way down to the most specific, which is the species. You don't actually need to know much of these, uh, but the kingdom, the genus, and the species are probably the most relevant for you guys to know. Uh, when it comes to the five kingdoms, you have the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the fungus, and the bacteria, and the protoctus. What this means is any given organism that you find can be put under one of these five different kingdoms. And these five kingdoms have various different features. Now, the features that you should be sort of concerned about would be, uh, number one, whether it's unicellular or multicellular. Unicellular meaning a single cell, multicellular meaning the organism is made up of multiple cells. Uh, prokaryotic versus eukaryotic, structurally, the cells are different. We'll go through that in the next slide. Cell walls, some cells uh, and some organisms have cell walls. For example, plant cells, you know that they've got cell walls and animal cells do not. And autotrophic versus heterotrophic. Autotrophic means that the organism can make its own food, i.e. by photosynthesis. And heterotrophic would be uh, when organisms need to rely on eating other organisms to, to gain nutrients. So that would be that would be us, that would be animals and whatnot. So prokaryotes versus eukaryotes, the first thing you have to understand is all cells, no matter what cell you are, has four basic things. They've got a cell membrane, they've got the cytoplasm, they've got ribosomes and the DNA. Uh, when it comes to the functions of each of these different things, I'm assuming that you already have a decent idea, but I will cover this in a separate video talking about uh, structures of cells. But ultimately, the differences between the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cells is the fact that prokaryotic cells are more simple and less complex. What that means is that they lack some of the organelles that eukaryotic cells have. So specifically, they lack membrane-bound organelles such as the nucleus, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, the mitochondria, amongst other things like vacuoles and lysosomes as well. Um, and in terms of the DNA, of course, both prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells have DNA, but prokaryotic cells have circular DNA, whereas eukaryotic cells have linear DNA, which just means that it's got one end, uh, it's basically got two ends, right? It's a, it's a line, uh, whereas a circular DNA would be like a loop. So it doesn't technically have an end there. So when it comes to the five kingdoms, let's go through each of these things. So for example, let's start with the animal cell, which is a multicellular uh, which is multicellular, they are eukaryotic and they don't have cell walls and they're heterotrophic. So that makes a lot of sense. That's just describing us. We can't photosynthesize, we can't make our own walls, uh, not, we can't make our own food, sorry. And um, our cells are pretty complex in terms of the fact that we've got a nucleus, we have rough endoplasmic reticulum um, and all the all that sort of stuff. Plant cells, are also multicellular, they're eukaryotic, they do have cell walls made of cellulose, and the cell walls offer a protective mechanism for the cell, and they're autotrophic because, as you know, plant cells can photosynthesize and make their own food. The fungi, they are multicellular, they are eukaryotic, they do have cell walls, it's not made of the same thing as plant cells though, they are made of chitin, glucans, and glycoproteins, and they're also heterotrophic. Uh, the protoctists are unicellular, meaning they're made of just one single cell, uh, but they're eukaryotic cells. And they mostly don't have cell walls, but you might find some that do. And it's a mixture between autotrophic and heterotrophic. Some can make their own food, some can't, and rely on eating other organisms. Uh, bacteria, uh, they're unicellular, they are prokaryotic, so this is the only prokaryotic cell group amongst these five kingdoms. They do have cell walls made of peptidoglycan, uh, peptidoglycan, I think that's how you pronounce it, and uh, they 
can also be a mixture between autotrophic and heterotrophic. So hopefully that gives you some insight. Uh, in the next video, I might go through uh, cell structures where we look at the individual cells of animal cells, plant cells, and bacterial cells. So look forward to that. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Just before you guys head off, I uh, just want to show you that this is my Patreon channel where I upload extra resources that I know that you guys will find very helpful. For example, I've been making this detailed study guide upon uh, many requests that uh, I'm uploading on my Patreon channel chapter by chapter whenever I complete them. So uh, here's a snapshot of the chapter that covers the content of today's video. I've also made an exam coaching series where I go through uh, examination questions topic by topic just to get you nice and prepared for your exams and uh, you'll find a bunch of other useful resources there as well. I'm constantly working to make it as valuable as possible. Uh, so for you guys that want to check it out, uh, just click the link above in the video or in the description box below. Uh, thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next video.